this is just a wild and wonderful visit to a Goodwill store in Port Colburn. I think you'll enjoy this. I certainly did. As we enter through the automated doors, which is nice touch, there was a display of Hawaiian shirts right there. We picked up quite a few at this location. And you'll notice that we have the typical layout in a Goodwill store of the hard goods on top with the clothing generally underneath it. I didn't really take a look at the the um, shoes at this on this visit. And the usual layout of the various aisles as I'm working towards the men's shirts. Got some pants here. Well, those were some of them were ladies. When they have capris, I know it's ladies. Ah, good old gaming, game boards, board games. I hope you enjoy my tour so you can do it vicariously. And here we have some of the shirts. Uh, there was an interesting selection overall of a lot of things at this store. There's this Hawaiian shirt there. Just a little glimpse of it. Some more pants and jeans there. The fabrics on the right and the men's shirts on the left. There's all sorts of uh, different kinds of shirts. They're separated in long sleeve, short sleeves, and active wear is typically separated as well. I wasn't pleased to see, I like the front of it, but unfortunately the back is plain. I think that's a shortcut, it's one way to cut costs, I suppose, but kind of, kind of lose the whole effect of uh, celebrating color and pattern. Now here's one. This is a Hawaiian shirt. Design is a, a, a reminiscent of it. It may not be from Hawaii. I think I picked this one up. I did get a number of them, but I didn't get them all on this walk through with, with while I was doing video I had to go back and after I picked up a shopping cart so I could actually carry the numbers I found that I, and I was willing to obtain the issue is that uh, I don't always come across that many I felt very fortunate in this visit to find so many so we have our linens and our sh fabrics and comforters, and then we have a section for sporting goods. A whole bunch of golf clubs here. You need to just get a couple to swing around with or to practice with. There's a decent selection. A lot of vintage ones. I didn't see any wooden hand or stemmed ones. They do exist, and I understand all the newer ones are not metal anymore, so it all varies over time. Yeah, the hickory shaft ones are quite, quite the rare pieces. Typical collection of glassware and mugs and so on. We'll be seeing more of the uh, pl plates and so on later in this video. Some jackets, outerwear, 
I have obtained some oddball items from this uh, this type of uh, aisle. Ah, uh, yes, this is a very lovely piece. I thought I'd take a still for you to make it a bit better to see it. Again, I, I couldn't carry everything in my my other arm. The one actually holding the camera. So it's another item that I think I picked it up as well. In any case, there was a lot of items that I picked up. Somebody just left it turned out. Paisley. It could be considered demure for a. But it's a demure Paisley as well. Here's a fun one with festive lights, Christmas lights. Call it which way you want. You light up my life. Take your pick. That next shirt happens to be a part of a uniform for somebody. Well, the Christmas one is a George. Good old Walmart. Not a place I generally shop, but if I, if it works for me and I get it secondhand, then I'll, I will pick it up. So I use them as my day-to-day -day Hawaiian shirts. Then we came across some really interesting designs on some of the other outerwear. This is a sweat top. And there was a few of the real tree. Um, not sure if I pictured this other one. Yeah, that has to do with uh, grandma's everything goes. Somebody's uh, the nice Brooklyn Bridge. I actually have one of those. I kind of like that image. I picked up this. We're going to be using it for whether it's a pop-up sale or whatever. There's a guitar case on the bottom. We'll be circling around to that in just a moment. The guitar case is. It's, I th they sell for me quite nicely, quite quickly. Uh, this one's an all soft one. But when the price is $22, I'm not so keen considering that you buy them new for not much more than that. And folks, this isn't just, you know, that's not really vintage, but sometimes you gotta get some items for the booth that do sell. Small appliances, some furniture, interesting selection of furniture. The issue has become that the current buyers are not looking for wood. They're looking for funky colors, pastels, and they want something that's more or less throwaway. I understand what they're looking for. I just can't see desecrating some of the beautiful wood that I've seen co covered. Now, if it were sealed off so that the color doesn't penetrate into the wood grain it could at least be recovered but sometimes they uh, put it onto an open grain wood and it gets it's almost a permanent change they do have the usual bagged goods uh there's not a huge number of them but unusually they're not on pegs they're not on a little card off the pegboard on the back or on the wall somewhere else so it's a bit different. Each store has their own way of doing these things. And 
here we came across a group of three drums. I think I'm not a drummer, so I'm not going to say what kind they are, but I think the big one's a bass. And the clear, clear uh, top one, it's it was 25. The other, the white top one that was facing up was 25. And the big base, which is on the curved side, is 55. I think you could do okay if you if you wanted to start or practice uh, getting into drumming. I think it beats prices if you're looking somewhere like a music shop. But I don't know. I'm not. I'm not into that. I have a nephew who is, but I don't know how much he's still doing it. Doesn't make him a living, so. He, he's, but I think they do it sometimes uh, for friends or so. Look like a one of those uh, cheap TV antennas that don't necessarily work. And here we get into some of the ladies' clothes. Now, I don't usually focus very much on ladies' clothes, but I have some ideas. And these, this place had enough stuff to catch my eye that I was actually taking a closer look. Not to say I've never looked, but some of the other places aren't, are not so great. Interesting jacket top, a short top here. This one I had is a splash, and I'll sh show the rest of it in just a moment. So the whole thing looks like this. It's a short sleeve, more like a, a blouse you just pull over. Again, with the wooden clothes, these were wooden clothes, no, furniture. It's right behind the clothes that we were just looking at. And... Uh, A closer view we saw uh, an overview from earlier my my egg pie ah, I didn't catch things in this area but I'm not going to become a somebody who goes into everything all the time but we did take a look at these uh, sets of pottery that's a set from Pier 1. There's some other ones there. But the Magpie, I did catch this one. It had a nice, interesting pattern. I do believe it was a Mikasa. Now, that is what I put on as a text over the still image that, that we are going to stop at for a moment when we see the price. So it looks like it's 76 pieces and for $30 and it, I believe it's a Mikasa pattern. It's a nice, it's a nice piece set. Uh, there's a lot of pieces. I don't know if it's, it's what works for you. It's a good deal if, if you're in the market for that. Uh, there's one of the shirts that I showed earlier. And then we get these commemorative plates. I'm not into those, and apparently not too many others are either. Well, it's one way to laugh yourself out of a video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'd appreciate a thumbs up and uh, a subscribe. Would be greatly pleased by that. And there will be an announcement soon of some changes that we've done at our regarding our booth in Woodstock. You can check that on the channel page. <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye.